Hi and welcome to a statistics video that talks about the range. The range of a set of scores is, is a measure that we use for, the, for how spread out the scores are. If a set of scores has a large range they are very spread out. If it's got a small range they are, the data items are often bunched together but we'll have a look at a couple of examples here. The range is the highest score minus the lowest score. That's all it is. Now we have to complete that subtraction to find the range for our final answer but we find the highest score and the lowest score and we take the lowest score away from the highest score. Let's have a look at an example. Now here, we're, this bunch of scores are all in order here which is pretty handy <laughs> but uh, even if they weren't we could still find the highest score and the lowest score and subtract the two. So the range is the highest score minus the lowest score. The, the range is 31. I think you can see that 31 is the highest score. Take away 23. So your highest score is... Uh, I think I was being kind to you by putting these in, in, in order. Highest score is 31. Lowest score is 23. So the range is 20, uh, 31 minus 23. Now the range is 8. Now just to uh, to help you out here, you must complete the subtraction for your final answer. If you left your answer with this here, range of 31 minus 23, and didn't write the result, I I'm, don't think I'd be keen on giving you full marks for that. Um, and a lot of students actually leave their answer for range as uh, indicating that the scores range from 23 up to 31. Now that's like a plain English version of the range but uh, technically uh, a mathematics version of the range is actually to complete that subtraction and say that the range of these values is 8. So please uh, don't just uh, do the plain English version of just saying uh, the scores range from 23 to 31. I know that uh, that's used in other areas of life, but in mathematics we actually do follow that rule. Higher score minus lower score, and the final answer is the subtracted uh, result there. So that's there you have the range. You find the highest score and the lowest score, and you subtract and get a final answer. Alright, thanks for listening. See you next time for some more statistics and uh, other mathematical concepts. PeterBlakeMath.com. See you again.